All right, section 11.1 are some basic concepts. Uh, we're kind of going into probability here. And uh, this first one says, assume that the spinner on the right cannot land on the line. We're going to complete parts A through C. So we have a circle that has four sections, um, and we're going to spin it. So A wants to know the probability it will land on red. Okay, so probability. I'm going to denote this with a P-R-O-B and a little Y up here. So that means probability. Um, the way you compute probability is the part over the whole. Okay, so for this first part, 1A, we want to know the probability of red. So I did use this P, and then in parentheses, I'm going to use the capital letter R for meaning red. So on this diagram, let's count it. There are four sections, so that's the whole, and there's one that's red. So the part on top is one, and on the bottom there's four red squares. So one-fourth the probability that we will land on red. All right, part B, we want a probability that we'll land on yellow. So again, scrolling up and down, there's only one yellow square, and there's four squares all together. So we denote that. 1B, probability, and I'm going to do the capital letter Y for yellow, and that is still 1 that is yellow out of 4 total. Alright, now C, what is the probability that it will land on blue? So we can see there's 2 blue squares out of 4, or 2 blue sections. So the probability that it will land on blue is equal to 2 out of 4. And we want to simplify this. Both of these are even, so divide them both by 2. And that will give you 1 over 2. So it's a half the probability that it will land on blue. I usually box all the answers in. So 1 half. So this is just the basics of probability, understanding how to compute it. All right. Uh, now, number two, we have several parts, A, B, C, D, E. Um, and it says the spinner, sorry, I missed. Okay, the spinner on the right uh, is spun twice in succession to determine the two-digit number. So we're going to spin this twice. We're going to write the first number down. We're going to spin it again, write the second number. The first spin gives the first digit, second spin gives the second. We're going to give the following. The sample space, probability of an odd number, probability of a number with repeating digits, probability of a number greater than 30, and then the probability that the number is prime. And we have the numbers 2, 3, and 4. Okay. So when we do a sample space, we usually denote it with this letter S and we put the sample space in a curly bracket. All right, so we're going to list everything that can happen. So we have the numbers 2, 3, and 4. So if I roll a 2 on the first spin, I can also get a 2 on the second. I can get a 2 on the first and then a 3 on the second. Or I can get a 2 on the first and a 4 on the second. And we're just going to go through and just kind of shift the numbers as we go down the list. So I can get a 3 and a 2, a 3 and a 3, or a 3 and then a 4. So we're doing it twice, getting two-digit numbers, and I'm just kind of shifting through, starting with 2 and then going through all of them, and so forth and so on. So now we have 4 and a 2, 4 and 3, 4 and 4. And this will give us our sample space. So remember that counting principle uh, that we did in uh, chapter 10. We have three numbers for the first spin and we can repeat so we have three numbers for the second spin. Three times three gives us nine and if you count these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we have nine two-digit numbers. So A, we want to know the sample space. So we have to type all of this in. You want to make sure you understand uh, what's going on uh, in the scenario. 
So I'm going to do 22, 23, 24, 32, 33, 34, 42, uh-oh, let me go back, 42, 43, 44. All right, so that is our sample space. Um, probability of an odd number, so the number has to end in an odd number, so 1, 2, 3, just these 3, because they all, the rest of them end in even numbers, so 3 out of 9, so remember, part over whole, so B, we want the probability of odd, and that is 3 out of 9, which reduces to 1 third, so both of those numbers are divisible by 3, Now, we want to know what is the probability of repeating digits. So all the ones that have the same digits down this diagonal, you can see 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. So C, so we'll say probability of repeat, I'm going to say RE. And that is also 3 out of 9, which will reduce to 1 third, as did the first one. D, what is the probability that the number is greater than 30? Okay, so numbers that are bigger than 30. So none of the 20s, but all of these 30s are bigger than 30 because 32, 34, and all the 40s. So we have six of them out of nine. So we're going to say probability, we're going to say X is greater than 30. X is our random variable number. And we have 6 out of 9, which will reduce to 2 out of 3. Divide both of those by 3. We get 2 thirds. All right, and we have one more part, probability of a prime number. So you got to remember that prime numbers are numbers that are only uh, divisible by 1 in itself. So 2 is even. So any number that's even is not going to be prime. And these are the candidates for prime, except for two, I'm sorry. Any even number except for two is not going to be prime. Now, these are candidates 23, 33, and 43. 33 is divisible by 11, and uh, 23 and 43 will be prime. They cannot be divided by anything except for one in itself. So we have two numbers that are prime. Probability of prime, we have two out of nine. And that will not reduce. 2 is even, 9 is odd, they have no common factors. So 2 out of 9. 